Hey guys, uh, welcome to Pros and Cons Episode 2. Today we're going to do two computers over here. <coughs> this one right here I'm going to be talking about is my Compact Presario SR1603WM. The one with the AMD Sempron processor. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're going to talk about pros on here. The pros is it has faster internet, which is this thing, which is my internet is connected to. For some reasons, it sh showing like a red right here. It, it usually would be green. Wait, by the time I upload this, it'll probably be fixed. I got a microphone which I may use sometimes. And we got slot for the memory card. I'm trying to move the camera so you can see I got the SD card. Nice for the digital cameras, USB 2.0, DVD, and CD burner with this thing. <laughs> and it runs Windows XP Home Edition Service Pack 3. Here's half of the specs. Take a while for it to load. Yep, version 2. Point, you know, version 2002. That's all I was trying to say. Here it is, right here. It was manufactured by Compaq, which merged with Hewlett Packard. And it's a little slow. See, because it is. 1.79 gigahertz and 224 megabytes of RAM. If this thing had a 512 or above, then I would use this computer more often. It could be as slow at times. <laughs> I had put Media Player 11 a few months ago and Internet Explorer 8, and uh, then last year I had installed the Office 07. I had the Office 2003 trial, but it expired. We had to use Microsoft Word for a while. That's some of the pros. And it has the text-to-speech. We're going to talk about cons. Well, the cons, sometimes it'll act up whenever I'm on the Internet. Sometimes there's days you want to get angry at it. Since I installed Internet Explorer 8 and Windows XP Service Pack 3, then it's been working fine, a little bit fine. I got to I got to update the virus protection on this thing. This is pretty cool. This text to speech thing. I don't mostly do YouTube videos on it. Upload them all. I use it my laptop. Here's just something cool. With the text to speak. Turn it up the volume. So you can listen to this. Rainbow 7 is better than Rainbow X, the end this time. You can be able to find that and win. And the bad thing, with the printer, you have to hold down the paper a certain position in order to, to print it out. So it could... And I got speakers right here. Sorry for that. And so far, it's not moving slow right now. I like to do to make Microsoft Sam say this. On my Vista, I got Microsoft Anna. Well, 
I have Microsoft SAML on my Vista, but I didn't install Speakonia. We don't mess with LimeWire no more. But this is my mom's computer. I would like to take it off, but I don't need it. We don't need it. We don't use it. And, uh, I, I downloaded this theme. The one from a web, from a Softpedia website. The Energy, Blue, the Royale theme, which is known as the Energy Blue and Media Center. We're going to be doing my laptop. And another con, it has the home version of XP. It would be better if we had XP Professional and 512 megabytes of RAM. Well, we're going to do, go ahead and do the computer, the laptop now. Well, now we're going to be talking about my laptop. The pros and cons on this thing. My 2009 Toshiba Satellite L505D S5965. Right now I have it in sleep mode. Put the power of this baby on. Wake it up. Let me enter my password. Now I'm going to be talking about the pros on this thing. It can also support more, some USB devices, even the USB 2.0. But Windows 7 is going to have Windows USB 3.0, and it has Wi-Fi, which is cool. Which you can get a router and you can connect to the internet, and it has HD. A little SD card slot right here. And it's pretty cool. I love my laptop. It has 3 gigabytes of RAM and a 250 gigabyte hard drive, and it's able to be upgradable to Windows 7. I'm about to upgrade this to Home Premium to Windows 7 Professional whenever they start, whenever Windows 7 gets on the shelves. I'm going to get me a copy and I'm going to try and see how it's going to run on this laptop. If it runs slow, I'm going to remove it and go back to Vista. But I'm going to I like, I'm gonna start liking Windows 7. I bet you it's probably going to run fine. And I'm, You know, i got Virtual PC. Yeah, i got some versions of Windows. I don't have the betas on here. i only got Windows 2000 3.1, Windows 95 OSR 2.1, Windows 98 Second Edition, Windows 4 Work Groups 3.11, Windows ME, Windows NT 3.51, NT 4.0, and Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. And Windows uh, for Windows 2000, I got Service Pack 4, and Service Pack 6 for Windows NT 4. And I got Media Player 11 which is on this one also, which came with Vista. Media Player 12 is going to be out soon. I'm going to get that whenever Windows 7. I got Internet Explorer 8. And it's a pretty cool laptop. I got Camtasia Studio 6 and Office 07 on this thing. I never experienced a problem with this thing, but it did pick up some viruses, but I deleted them. And the cool thing, I got the sidebar. Well, that's gonna be enough for that. And the bad thing about only bad thing is under here this little label for the product key, which I'm not gonna give out to nobody. Which the some of it's starting to wear off. But you can buy a copy of Vista, another copy, and get the key for that one. Well, that's enough for now. Comment me or rate. Let me know what you think.